everyone. Um, did you enjoy that new intro? Because, in my opinion, it's sick. And I'm really, really pleased about the, uh, the my new intro. So, hopefully you guys like it as well. But anyways, what we are here to talk about today. And today we are just talking. I'm not really playing at the moment. We just have some nice background action going on. So you don't have to watch a black video and just listen to me talk. But what I wanted to talk to you guys um about today is the current raid system because in my opinion the raid system is sort of broken at the moment um there's just a lot of things that are somewhat lacking and a lot of things that in my opinion should be changed so you have an option to or not have an option but you can get a more versatile um rating system that sort of helps out new players better and let's more experienced players invest their fuel way better than they can at the moment because um, the rating system is just super frustrating to me um, and I think there's a lot of other people who sort of have the same feeling about it at the moment um, and there's just a ton of bugs and stuff that you can exploit so um, this is my attempt to cover some of these issues and hopefully you guys agree and if you don't we can start a discussion and by having a discussion maybe we can work a solution together uh, I don't know but anyways let's just get straight into it and cover the first thing that I want to talk about which is being able to kick people in raids because this is a feature that in my opinion is really lacking at the moment there are just so many trolls in this game and there's a lot of toxicity and stuff and it was just it would just be a very very nice experience if you could kick people that are either trolling or being toxic because i think we have all found ourselves in a situation where we have a teammate that is just purely focusing on ramming his teammates and not helping with the achievement at all um maybe that one player even drives over, captures some cargo, and does not deliver it in, so we, you cannot finish your mission, which is also just super frustrating and just dragging things out. I know my, that I've seen it myself a couple of times now, and being able to kick that player would just be such a good experience, so you can you could finish your raid and get on with your life and not having to sit there and feel super frustrated and annoyed um, because of that one person. So I really feel like this is a thing that should be implemented. And I know that if you join a raid with three pre-made people, they will have the power of just kicking you um, whenever they want to. But at the moment, I feel like it's so much more important to... <coughs> sorry. Uh, being, a being able to kick people if they are missing of your raid or whatever. And the next thing... And which is the second point that I want to talk about today is joining ongoing raids um, where you can join them at a discount but with a penalty to your reward so say you join a raid where someone has been kicked and they have finished 50% of the raid you can join at a 40% 50% discount to the um, to the fuel cost and you will also receive a likewise penalty to the reward that you get. So say you only invest 30 fuel, you only get, um, in a heart rate, you only get 50% of the reward or 50% of the uh, total score. Um, or you simply start, pointing count <laughs> start counting points um, when you join rather than having to um, apply a penalty to the rewards once you've gotten them. So of course you shouldn't receive as much loot as the other guys who spend all of the time in the raid. Um, and if you join at the end, then it's like maybe five fuel, but you only get two or three electronics for finishing. Um, that's just one way of doing things, but I feel like you should be able to join ongoing raids because at the moment there are so many players that either disconnect or their game crashes or they simply just um, troll and leave and stuff like that. There's just so many things happening at the moment where people are getting thrown out of raids. So I feel like this is a good uh, way to sort of um, work against that and you would in a way you would be in a way better position to finish the raid if you could have a new player join you after you um, after you, your last previous teammate has left you. Um, 
So being able to reestablish a full team just makes the raid so much easier to get through. Okay, um, so the third point of today is you should be able to have a partial refund to your fuel invested if someone leaves the raid. So say you have an, an ally that leaves the raid like we spoke of before. Um, if you don't want to find new players but you just want to leave the raid, you should be able to leave the raid and then have a partial refund for the fuel that you invested. So let's say you join a heart raid and 25% into completing that raid, um, a person leaves and then I th just think you should be able to to leave the raid um, and then have some fuel back. So because finishing a raid three people is doable by any means. It's um, you can do it easily, but it's just really really hard if the two teammates left and don't know how to do the raid and. If it's just a easier thing to do to restart, then you should be able to do so. And then maybe just have a 80% refund to your fuel, something like that. I'm not sure about the specific numbers or anything, but this is just some sort of, you know, yeah, suggestion to how you could do it. And then it's just a matter of how much should you have refunded, depending on how far you've gotten. So you can leave the raid and then maybe have a little reward for the things that you did complete and then just have a refund to your fuel if you left being 50% done. Something like that. I'm not sure about the specific numbers, but this, like I said, is just some suggestions, really, more than anything. And then a thing that is super, super frustrating at the moment is when people don't really know tactics to raids. Um, and one thing that I know a lot of people don't really know is the specific tactics to do like, um, say, frontier defense, where you have to build up turrets and defend the platform while the enemy is attacking it in three waves. You could have some sort of guiding that says um, you have a 60 scrap, so don't forget to build a turret or you have a hundred scraps so you can upgrade a turret whatever I don't know and um, in chase just reminding people to shoot for parts that deals cabin damage rather than just shooting off structural parts because structural parts don't really deal damage to the vehicle itself you know you can save so much time in chase if you just hit the cabin and if you hit structure or not structural but if you hit the wheels say you aim for the wheels you can deal direct cabin damage there so implement a set of tips and tricks in all rates so especially newer people will find it easier to rate and maybe you can even make like um, guide um, what do you call guide uh, pointers, uh, arrows, whatever, inside the raid, so people always know what route to follow, um, maybe where to go at specific times in the wall for fire. A lot of people don't know that you just need one person for the third piece of fuel, and the rest can just go to the truck. So a lot of the time, people will stay behind and wait for the final set of fuel to uh, be. Um, to be filtrated or whatever they do and then they will sit there and all think they have to pick it up so once the fuel is the is um, purified filtered whatever um, all three people will struggle to take it and bring it to the truck so that one guy who picks it up drives super fast over there and then the rest of them maybe have tank tracks or something so they sit back and they can't make it to the truck before the fuel is delivered um, and by then the truck is already at half HP because you miss two people at the last objective. Um, so that's another big issue that I have seen in raids a couple of times now and it's just so frustrating to watch. So this would be a pretty easy way to help out new players and just bring some guidance into the game because a lot of people are struggling and in my opinion Gaijin do have to sort of meet those people. But anyways, coming up to our last point in this video, which is that you just have to fix AI behavior and do a ton of bug fixing. Because there are so many bugs at the moment in raids and you can exploit so many of them. 
Um, especially one of them being that the AI just behaves very, very consistently as to, you know, they, they behave just like they are told to. So if they are told to defend a point, you can literally just sit um, at a distance from that point and you can take down all enemies without them ever even thinking of attacking you. They will drive towards you because you attack them, but um, once they get to the limit of their zone, they'll just turn around and completely ignore you. And this is an easy way to finish raids without taking damage. And you can manipulate um, the behavior in so many ways. And I will not cover each and every raid, but this is just to sort of tell you, give you an idea of the problem. And then another big, big problem, which is um, being exploited so much at the moment is cabin damage to chase and stuff, where you can literally just go ahead and make yourself a ram build with the tusk cabin and then you can finish um, finish the chase rate within a minute or so in my opinion that's just wrong um, because that is not I know it's um, a creative new way to finish the rate but it's just a shame that they allow these sort of things to happen because as fun as it is it's void exploiting buck exploiting <laughs> void exploiting <laughs> it's it's exploiting bucks and i just don't think that's the right way to go um and in a way i've seen that gaijin is somewhat even promoting these should i say alternative f um, ways of doing raids because of course it's creative to throw the leviathan in the acid lake if you get that map well doing the Leviathan raid, but I don't really see that it's the correct way to play the game and by having Gaijin even promote this way in their crossout show, um, I feel like they are promoting bugs and exploiting bugs, which in most of the games that I know, if you exploit bugs in an online game, you're gonna get banned. Um, but here the developers are somewhat promoting box and exploiting box so I find it wrong and I find it ruining the game but I don't know how you guys feel so let me know and take part in this discussion I've posted this video on reddit and I'm posting it here on YouTube so join the discussion on reddit in the crossout sub forum or join the discussion just down below in the comment section um, and that's pretty much it for this video let me, let me know what you guys think and uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.